Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. This is a requested video. Someone asked me to our Facebook group how I designed this portfolio page and how to create this kind of portfolio item with this effect. Now I'm going to make a tutorial about how you can create this kind of portfolio box using Elementor. So this is the final result which I am going to make in today's video. So if you like this video, let me know in the comment section and also give a big thumbs up for this video. So now let's go ahead and let's get started. First I am taking a new section and taking three column structure. Going to edit section and height, we can set it to mean height. And now for the first column I am taking an inner section, click here and going to inner section and removing one column and now here I am taking a image and a text title so going again here taking image and also going here and taking this heading widgets alright so now I am going to upload some images for my portfolio so this time I'm going here. I already uploaded some images. So these are the images. To capture this kind of image, we can use any extension which will take the full page screenshot. And then I just resized this image into same width. For example, here I have taken the image and then I make the size to 320 pixel and the height is auto. So now I'm taking a random image and also changing the text. For example, here I'm typing custom website from PSD and changing the text to paragraph and going to style tab, the typography. We can change to just making with our other pages font size 18 pixel and we can make the text text transform to uppercase and adding some literary spacing and also going to the content and making the alignment to center and here I'm going to remove the spacing between these two item so going to inner column and widget spacing I'm making it to zero and also going to this inner section and column gap I'm making it to no gap so some extra spacing is removed and also for this title going here I'm going to add a background color and some padding so going to advance and background I'm adding the white background for this text so going here background type the color I'm taking the white color and adding some padding so going to advance making it to unlink for padding and for or for all over we can take 15 pixel alright looks good and here if we want to add any link with this text and the image so for that going to content and here is the options for link and also same for the image if we go to the image and here is options for link custom URL and here we can add our live link or a different page link and now first I am making the image width to 100% so going to style tab and width I am making it to 100 and now for this image I am going to set a fixed height for this image and also want to add a scroll bar on the right side so for that I need to add a different plugin so first I am saving this page and now going to dashboard in a new tab going to dashboard going to plugins going to add new plugins and here if I search for custom scroll bar so here is the plugin custom scroll bar I have already installed this one and activated 
so after activating this plugin if I go to appearance and here is the scroll bar and from here we have to set the scroll bar name and some settings so first I'm going to set the scroll bar name we can make it do anything like portfolio and when I open it here we have to set the selector name so for image I'm going to this image and from advanced I'm setting a class name like here I'm setting scroll underscore V and going to copy this class name and going to paste here dot and scroll V and here I have to set the element height so here I'm adding 300 or 350 and simply save it and now I'm saving it first and if I go to the view page we can see the real view so here you can see it looks like this so it's taking the height from our scroll bar settings and also we can see here is a scroll bar on the right side and here we can also add some more customization for this scroll bar so if I go here and again going here for scroll bar position we can make it to inside and now here is some more settings here is the scroll bar theme we will find many options here I am selecting the minimal and also save changes and now if I refresh so we can see it's looking like this cool and finally I'm going to add some shadow with this whole section so for that I need to add some CSS code so if I go to my website we can see here is some CSS code so we need to add this code for our inner section I will also leave this page link in my description so you can check it from there and here I'm going to copy this CSS and going to my website going to inner section from advanced scroll down here is the options custom CSS this custom CSS options only available for Elementor Pro so if you still did not get Elementor Pro I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and after activating Elementor Pro you can get these options to your website alright so now I'm going to paste our CSS code and boom we can see this shadow effect is working and now if I save it and now if I refresh so you can see it's looking so cool in this view and finally I'm going to my dashboard again and here I'm going to copy the inner section and going here paste it and also going here and paste it and now going to the section edits from advanced I'm going to add some padding for top and bottom making it to unlink for top I'm adding 50 pixel and for bottom 50 pixel and also changing the images going here changing this one and also for the second one and here we can see the image is looking little bit blurry so we can make it to full so going here and image size I'm making it to full and now it's perfect and also for the others one going to content and image size full and also for this one and now in the similar way we can add more item for our portfolio and here if we check the responsive view going here so it's looking like this and also for phone it's looking like this so here we can add some margin for each item so going to the first one going to add funds and for margin I'm adding 20 pixel 
and for the second one 20 and for the third one 20 and finally save our page now if I refresh and here we can also increase the spacing between each item so again going here and going to edit section going to layout and column gap we can make it to wider and also for now we can make the section height to fit to screen and finally save this page now going to refresh all right so we are done for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video